Um, so Ozoni, many, most of you already know this is a very traditional soup served on New Year's Day as part of a ritual to ensure good fortune for the New Year. As with most rituals and traditions, they are of ancient origins, meaning that no one really remembers what the point of them is exactly. <laughs> but my understanding is that the day before New Year's Day, the commoners of ancient Japan made offerings to the local deities they believed in, giving them the very best they had, rice cakes, special vegetables, things that they very rarely ate. Sometimes we forget that. You know, we're used to eating mochi all the time, but people very rarely ate that in the common people. And they did this to make sure they rem the deities remembered them in good light for the rest of the new year. Once the spirits, I suppose, got to eat the essence of these treats, the Japanese, being very practical, didn't want the leftovers to go to waste on New Year's Day, and very reasonably made the leftovers into a nice soup to eat. That's my interpretation. So enjoy this treat as a sort of practice run for January 1st. But remember that today, the point is to enjoy it as part of a way of demonstrating gratitude for being together with family, friends, and community. Think of the thousands of hands of fellow community members that have touched the special mochi cakes that you are eating or just ate. <laughs> they just made them yesterday for the mochi tsuki, um, for you I call mochi tsuki, but don't worry, they did follow all the county health regulations. <laughs> a lot of other fine print I should read, but it's great, it's totally fine. All of this is to keep our community healthy and happy in honor of Oshogatsu. And trying to maintain the custom, so um, our family comes over and we enjoy ozoni to start the day, so we all start eating together with ozoni, and then there are various dishes that are, I don't know if they're traditional Japanese uh, New Year's, but it, it could be kind of a quasi-California Japanese kind of a menu. And so we enjoy our first meal together and we see each other a happy new year. I'm from Los Angeles and we make um, ozoni soup differently. It's with the miso and um, the, the mochi with the napa. And um, traditionally, the Yumoris, they would gather together, multi-generational families, they still do it, so my cousins are doing it when the aunties originally had it. So it's like 30, 40 people that get together. But the menu has changed, I understand. But um, learning recipes like this by using this mold makes it easier for Sansei or others to learn to not have to buy it at the store, you know, it's not that difficult. So listening to the people here today, you know, they, they thanked us for showing up. But I've always enjoyed New Year's food uh, when other people make it, because it's a lot of work, right? In that sense. So appreciate it.